Blundstone boots. There's a good chance that you've seen a few people, or maybe a few dozen people, wearing these classic slip-on ankle boots in recent years. But were you aware that the Blundstone brand is over 150 years old? That's right, this iconic boot has survived through two world wars, the Great Depression, and every insane fashion trend of the last 15 decades. Now with so many flashier brands and competition for our attention, how were they able to last so long? And will they continue to last far into the future? To get us started, we need a little bit of history. John Blundstone and Sons was founded in 1870 in Tasmania, Australia. But the Blundstone original, their most iconic style, has been around for less than half of the company's history. This Chelsea-style elastic-sided boot was designed in the 1960s and is now what most people think of when they hear the word Blundstone. And frankly, it's not all that exciting. I mean, look at it. It's brown. It's basic. There's really nothing to say other than it's kind of just a boot. And it's not even a super original one. The Chelsea style was actually patented by Queen Victoria's shoemaker Joseph Sparks Hall in 1851, before Blundstone and Sons even existed. But this lack of fashion focus might actually be part of the reason for their success. See, fast fashion operates on a trend by trend basis, producing cheap clothes that often only really work for a particular fashion season because of the low cost facilitated by low cost labor in developing countries and a highly subsidized material markets due to the economics of scale. This industrialized production model enables lower income consumers to purchase more stuff more often without breaking the bank, theoretically. Because really, if anyone is going to buy something that looks like this, you don't want to spend a lot of money to do it. But let's be honest, if it's actually that cheap, I mean, you might just do it. From a business standpoint, this model has really worked well for a bunch of businesses over the years, feeding off our human tendency to be drawn to what's new and flashy. But as conscious consumers become fed up with products that are designed to fail or become obsolete in a short amount of time, they're gravitating to more durable, timeless products that will be able to be used for years down the road. And that is where Blundstones come in. Their simplistic design and classic silhouette appeal to the widest variety of people because they're not trying to catch the next trend. People understand that if they're buying a pair of Blundstones, they're buying a timeless boot that can be worn anywhere. But their aesthetic isn't doing all the heavy lifting. Equally important are Blundstones durability and quality over time. These bad boys have been used during the First World War, the Second World War, the summiting of Mount Everest, music festivals, fashion shows, and even tap dancing at the Olympics in Sydney. Because why not? Look at all of those freaking Blundstones. Blundstone has a business model that emphasizes function over fashion, and they're legendary for it. They've been winning awards for quality since the 1800s and rely not so much on clever marketing, but on the word of mouth of happy customers over a long period of time. In their own words, Blundstone boots are a tradition, not a trend. This legacy has incredible sway for shoppers looking to buy a new pair of boots. When you buy a pair of Blundstones, you know what you're getting into. You know that it'll be comfortable, durable, and good for a number of settings because people have been saying as much for over a century. The success of quality-focused brands like Blundstone and Birkenstocks, we've got another video coming up about them, so make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, reflects an increasing drive for consumers to buy better and buy less. This, in theory, promotes a more sustainable clothing industry, one that consumes fewer natural resources and keeps cheap clothing out of landfills, an industry that can last well into the future sustainably. So far, Blundstones has been successful because they appeal to a consumer base that values high-quality, long-lasting products that have ethical craftsmanship and a focus on being sustainable. They've done well at this so far, but how long can that popularity last when, quite frankly, they're not really very impressive on any of these levels? Take, for example, the company's claim that their boots are super long-lasting. 
Well, that's a great thing to emphasize, and these boots are indeed far superior to their fast fashion counterparts, but is that all they're going for? Better than trash designed to fall apart? The truth is, Blundstone does not do everything in their power to make their boots as durable as possible, despite their claims to the contrary. They've ignored at least one key design feature that makes shoes longer lasting and more easily repairable. The Goodyear Welt. The Goodyear Welt is a shoemaking method that makes it a simple matter to remove the sole of a shoe in order to replace or repair it. For anyone serious about keeping their footwear around as long as possible, the Goodyear Welt is kind of like the gold standard, and it's been around since 1869. Blundstone has had their entire existence to implement this method, so why haven't they? Our guess? At best, Bluntstones is merely trying to cut costs to appeal to lower income consumers, which is totally fair, even though their boots are still pretty expensive. But perhaps the company took a lesson from the fast fashion industry and intentionally chose inferior production methods to ensure their shoes eventually fall apart. Durable enough to sell, but not so durable that people won't need to come back for more. Bluntstone also says they're all about tradition and building a better future, but they've made some choices over the years that call this stance into question. While Blundstone started as a family-run company back in Australia, today all of its leather shoes are made overseas, and the company isn't even owned by the Blundstone family anymore. This is brilliant, but I like this. Only the gumboots are actually still made in Australia, yet the company still proudly displays that iconic Tasmania tag on all of its footwear. But if not Tasmania, then where are the majority of Blundstone products manufactured? The Blundstone's executives chose to set up shop in some of the cheapest places they could find. Vietnam, Thailand, India, China, and Mexico. Countries that are sadly notorious for poor workers' conditions. Sure, Blundstone says they conform and where possible even exceed all the federal, state, and local government regulations, but does it mean much to meet China's workplace standards, or Thailand's for that matter? When it comes to issues like environmental responsibility and ethical treatment of employees, Blundstone says a lot of nice things, but in a way that's really vague and without a whole lot of concrete evidence. Because of this lack of transparency, we tend to agree with the reviewers over at Good On You. Blundstone is just not good enough, especially for something that is a presumed ethical brand. Don't get us wrong, Blundstone's has a lot going for it. These tough boots have built 151 years of loyal customers, and many people will likely say in the comments that these boots are great. This has got them to where they are. But is it enough to keep Blundstones as a leader in the boot industry for another 150 years? We don't think so. Blundstone has enough momentum that it's pretty safe to say they're not going anywhere in the immediate future, but it seems to be lagging behind in the core area that their target market cares about. With other businesses producing repairable boots and shoes, championing impressive environmental innovations, and embracing transparency, Blundstones is feeling more and more out of touch with the times and the needs of our world today. Now, for those of you who are wondering what you should do for footwear if Blundstones aren't it, you can actually find Blundstones secondhand a lot of the time because of their popularity, so that's actually a great way to go. But I actually just released a whole other video about my experience with a company called Canada West, who is doing really cool stuff and makes all their boots here in Canada. Now, I know a lot of you probably own Blundstone boots, and if you have anything to share that maybe we have missed in this video, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this kind of content, that is what future Future Proof is all about. We created Future Proof so that we could bring content to you exploring the companies and brands that are making a difference to make the world a better place into the future. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure that you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one.